Hi, I'm Jared Hansen. Thanks for taking some time to stop at the Larson Gallery today and looking at some of the work that I completed while I was studying at the University of Minnesota in the Agricultural Communication and Marketing program. While I was studying here at the university, I had the opportunity to learn a wide variety of skills, from digital communication to layout and design, as well as written communication in the agricultural perspective. This really fast-tracked me for my career, where I'm now working at a full-service marketing and advertising agency here in Minneapolis. Kelsey Gilbert and welcome to our farm. This is my husband Andrew, our son Brayden, and Adeline. When I was born my parents actually had about 50 to 100 ewes that they lambed out annually and my grandparents also did the same. So sheep were always in our barn. Uh, my sister and I had sheep um, at, our, at our fingertips all the time. Throughout our showing, my sister and I would sell our livestock at the fair and then we used all of that money that we had raised and we would split it and that is what put my sister and I through college. So we used it both as a learning experience and a financial opportunity to better our future. We show at the county fair in our local hometown. Uh, Braden was able to start showing at the age of seven. Uh, Adlin was then able to start showing at the age of six. So it's been a very great experience for us to show locally here. Uh, so the kids are able to see other kids and families that enjoy and appreciate the same things that we do. Hi, I'm Brayden and I'm 12 years old and this is my sixth year showing lambs. Hi, my name is Adeline. I'm nine years old and I've been showing sheep for five years. I like it because it gives me something to do in the summer and I get to spend more time with my family. The reason I really enjoy showing lambs is the rewards you get at the end of the showing season with all the experiences you get to have among the summer. Me and my brother both have two sheep and we work together to prepare our sheep for the fair. First thing that we do when we get our lambs in the spring is to switch over their feed and then we would um, make sure that their halter broke. We also make them feel comfortable around us. When we're at the show, it's pretty similar um, in terms of what we do there because we still exercise and wash and shear and trim up their legs or what we would do here to get them ready. There's a huge responsibility that comes with caring for it for an animal, whether it be a cat, a dog, a, a livestock animal, whatever it is. So it teaches the kids that there's something else in their life that really depends on them, right? It depends on them to eat in the morning, it depends on them to eat at night, and to make sure that their well-being is, is truly cared for. It looks easy probably in a lot of cases if you're sitting on the bleachers or you're watching from the show, but it's the four months, six months, nine months that are before that of all the work that's gone into preparing for those days. The work that they do with taking care of the animals, feeding them, cleaning the pens, giving them exercise, all the work that leads up to that show ring is really what is instilled from day one. That all the upfront work that they're gonna have to do, that's gonna hopefully put them in the most competitive position that they're gonna be in the show ring. Um, I think is really what we're trying to instill here. We spend hours out here in the barn and it's the one activity that we do fully as a family. So the kids are very active in sports, but this is something that we all do as a family every day. So we support each other. Our kids do this as a team and it is teamwork. And you know, all summer long when they're not in school, they're out here in the barn and they make great memories. They meet tons of great kids and great families from all across the country. You can really see them starting to blossom more into uh, what to do, what to expect, how to prepare for things. Uh, a lot of the, again, the, the life lessons that you're, you're trying to instill in them, you can see. Uh, responsibility, accountability, 
everything that you would hope that they could start to make some of those choices for themselves. You can see that coming out in them now as they're getting older. It's very apparent when you when you go to a show or you you know you're at the fair, the kids that have put the time in and put the energy in with their animals, you know, they are the ones, whether they have the best lamb in the ring or not, you can really tell. I think the kids that are involved in it are set up to be good leaders just because of that confidence that they can build in themselves. The more confidence that they can build in themselves, the more that they will also show other kids, show other people what can be done and have some of those leadership capabilities. If they get grand champion or their last place, doesn't necessarily as matter as much as all the work that they are going to put into it and they can feel confidence in themselves that they did everything that they could possibly do to put themselves and that animal in the best position. At the end of the day, the memories and the friendships that our kids make with you know, other families within the industry are what really matters.